Welcome back to our channel. Old Coins Prices today. We have something truly exciting to share with you the 1950D Lincoln Penny. You might have one in your pocket or lying around, but did you know it could be worth a small fortune? Stick around as we unveil the secrets behind this seemingly ordinary coin. Before we dive into the value, let's take a quick trip down memory lane. The 1950D Lincoln Penny was minted during a fascinating period of history, and its rarity adds a layer of intrigue to its worth. Minted in Denver, these coins were produced in relatively low numbers compared to other years, making them highly sought after by collectors. Now, let's talk about what makes this coin stand out. Look for any signs of wear, discoloration, or imperfections. Coins in mint condition can fetch a higher value. Check the mint mark D on the reverse side, just below the ear. This tiny mark indicates that the coin was minted in Denver and is crucial for determining its rarity. So, how much can this little piece of history be worth? Well, it depends on various factors. Rare errors, such as double dyes or striking anomalies, can significantly increase its value. Keep an eye out for those unique features that set your coin apart. To give you an idea of the market prices, Coins in excellent condition have been known to sell for hundreds or even thousands of dollars in certain cases. However, prices can fluctuate based on demand and the overall condition of the coin. Consult reputable coin grading services and marketplaces to get an accurate valuation. Before you rush to check your coin jar, remember to handle your coins with care. Wear cotton gloves to avoid fingerprints and store them in protective holders. If you think you've struck gold, Consider getting your coin professionally appraised to ensure its authenticity and determine its precise value. This coin value in marker 570000. There you have it, folks. The 1950D Lincoln Penny, a hidden gem that could be hiding in plain sight. If you enjoyed this exploration into the world of valuable coins, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more coin related content, and share your own coin discoveries in the comments below. We're diving into the fascinating world of numismatics as we explore the value and rarity of 1950 Canadian one-cent coins. Stay tuned, because you might be sitting on a small fortune without even realizing it. These seemingly ordinary coins from 1950 might be worth much more than their face value. Let's take a closer look at why collectors are going crazy over them. Before we jump into the value, let's set the stage. The 1950s were a pivotal time in Canadian history, and these coins hold a piece of that era. Knowing the background adds an extra layer of intrigue to their value. What makes a 1950 Canadian one-cent coin valuable? Look out for mint marks, variations, and any signs of wear or rarity. We'll guide you through the key features that collectors and experts are hunting for. The value of these coins has been on the rise, and we'll explore the current market trends. Discover why some coins are fetching impressive prices at auctions and sales. We've heard incredible stories of everyday people stumbling upon these valuable coins in their spare change or old coin collections. Could you be the next lucky collector? We're bringing in the experts to shed light on what makes these 1951 said coins so special. Their insights will help you understand the nuances that contribute to the coin's value. This coin value in marker dollar five two zero 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 zero. As we wrap up, it's clear that these 1950 Canadian one cent coins are more than just pocket change. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, keep your eyes peeled. You might have a hidden gem waiting to be discovered. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more captivating coin related content. We have an exciting episode as we delve into the world of rare coins. In particular, we'll be exploring the 1950D dime and uncovering whether it's hiding a hidden fortune. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our coin collecting adventures. Now, let's talk about the 1950D dime. Minted over seven decades ago, this little piece of history could be worth more than you think. Stay tuned to find out why. Before we explore its value, Let's take a trip down memory lane. The 1950D dime is a product of its time, and understanding its historical context adds to its allure. Minted at the Denver Mint during a period of post-war economic growth, 
This time holds a unique place in numismatic history. Now, let's zoom in on the distinctive features that collectors look for. From mint marks to design variations, each detail can significantly impact the coin's rarity and value. Keep your eyes peeled for these key features. You've waited long enough. Let's cut to the chase. The 1950D dime has been making waves in the collector's market. Recent trends and auction results indicate a surge in demand for this particular coin. But how much could it be worth today? To get a better understanding, we've consulted with Afsu, a seasoned numismatist with years of experience. Afsu, can you shed some light on the potential value of the 1950D dime? Certainly. Based on current market conditions and rarity factors, the 1950D dime in pristine condition could fetch a significant sum. Collectors are willing to pay top dollar for this hidden gem. This coin value in marker $550,000. There you have it, folks. The 1950D dime might just be your ticket to a valuable addition to your coin collection. If you enjoyed this episode, give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow coin enthusiasts. We have a real gem to talk about, the 1950D Jefferson Nickel. Could it be hiding in your collection, waiting to reveal its true value? Let's find out. The 1950D Jefferson Nickel is a fascinating piece of American coinage history. With its unique design and historical significance, it has become a sought-after collectible. But what makes the 1950D version stand out? The 1950D Jefferson Nickel is known for its scarcity. Struck at the Denver Mint in 1950, this coin has a low mintage, adding to its rarity. Let's delve into the historical context and factors contributing to its scarcity. If you're rummaging through your coin collection, here are the key features to look for in the 1950D Jefferson Nickel. Pay attention to mint marks, strike quality, and any signs of wear or damage. These details can significantly impact its value. To get an idea of the potential value, let's explore recent sales and market trends for the 1950D Jefferson Nickel. Keep in mind that condition plays a crucial role in determining the coin's worth. We're fortunate to have, Afsu, a renowned expert in the field, share insights on the 1950D Jefferson Nickel. Stay tuned as we uncover more about this hidden treasure. It's time to showcase the 1950D Jefferson Nickel. We'll provide close-up shots and discuss the finer details that make this coin a true collector's item. This coin value in marker dollar five three zero 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 zero. As we wrap up today's episode, remember that the value of the 1950D Jefferson nickel goes beyond its monetary worth. It's a piece of history that connects us to a bygone era. If you enjoyed this exploration, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more coin-related content. We're diving into the fascinating world of numismatics, and we have an exciting piece to discuss the 1950 10 cent Canada coin. You won't believe the hidden value this little treasure might hold. Before we unveil the potential fortune behind this coin, let's set the stage. The 1950 10 cent coin from Canada carries a rich history, marked by intricate design and minting techniques of the time. This piece is a true testament to the craftsmanship of the mid 20th century. Now, what makes this coin so special? Well, it's all about rarity. The 1950 10 cent coin is known for its limited mintage, making it a sought after item among collectors. The unique combination of design elements and historical significance adds to its allure. Condition is key when determining the value of any coin. Whether it's uncirculated or shows signs of wear, each detail matters. We'll explore the importance of grading and how the state of preservation can significantly impact the coin's appraisal. Curious about the current market value? We'll delve into recent auction results and share jaw-dropping stories of how this seemingly ordinary coin turned into a remarkable investment for some lucky individuals. To gain deeper insights, we've reached out to numismatic experts who will provide valuable information about what to look for in a 1950 10 cent Canada coin and how to distinguish a potential gem from a regular find. This coin value in mark $5000000. As we wrap up, we hope you've enjoyed this exploration into the hidden potential of the 1950 10 cent Canada coin. Who knows, you might have one of these valuable pieces in your collection. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, 
and hit that notification bell for more intriguing coin-related content. We have an exciting episode for you as we dive into the world of numismatics. We've got our hands on a 1955-cent Canadian coin, and you won't believe how much it could be worth. Stick around to uncover the hidden secrets of this vintage treasure. Before we get into the details, let's provide a quick overview of the 1955-cent coin from Canada. Minted in 1950, this coin holds a special place in history. Its unique design and limited production make it a sought-after piece among collectors. Now, let's explore why it might be worth a lot more than its face value. To truly understand the value of this coin, we need to delve into the historical context of 1950. Factors like mintage numbers, design variations, and any historical events related to the coin can significantly impact its rarity and value. Let's explore what makes this coin so special. Taking a closer look at the coin, we'll discuss its key features, including any minting errors, variations, or design intricacies that collectors find particularly valuable. Remember, even the smallest details can make a big difference in determining the coin's worth. Now, let's get to the exciting part, the potential market value of the 1955-cent Canadian coin. We'll consider recent auction results, collector demand, and rarity factors to give you a ballpark estimate of how much this coin could be worth in today's market. To provide you with the most accurate information, we've consulted numismatic experts who will share their insights into the 1955-cent Canada coin. Their expertise will shed light on the current trends in the coin collecting community and what makes this particular coin a standout piece. This coin value in marker $510,000. As we wrap up today's episode, we hope you've enjoyed this exploration of the 1955-cent Canadian coin. Remember, the world of coin collecting is filled with surprises, and you never know when you might stumble upon a hidden gem. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more fascinating insights into the world of numismatics. We have an exciting episode for you as we dive into the world of rare coins. Join us as we explore the 1950D Franklin Half Dollar and unveil its potential hidden value that could make it worth a small fortune. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our valuable coin insights. Now, let's talk about the 1950D Franklin Half Dollar. Released in 1950, the Franklin Half Dollar holds a special place in numismatic history. The D mint mark indicates it was minted in Denver, adding an extra layer of rarity to this coin. But what makes this particular coin worth more than its face value? Several factors can contribute to the increased value of a 1950D Franklin half dollar. Mint condition, rarity, and historical significance all play a crucial role in determining its worth. We'll explore each of these aspects to help you understand why this coin might be a hidden gem in your collection. Examining the condition of your coin is essential. Look for any signs of wear, scratches, or discoloration. A well-preserved coin, especially one graded by a reputable agency, can significantly boost its value. The 1950D Franklin Half Dollar is known for its scarcity. With a limited mintage, finding one in excellent condition becomes a thrilling treasure hunt for collectors. Rarity often translates to higher market demand and, consequently, a higher price. Understanding the historical context of the coin can provide valuable insights. The Franklin Half Dollar pays tribute to one of America's founding fathers, Benjamin Franklin, making it not just a piece of currency but also a piece of history. Now let's address the burning question, how much could a 1950D Franklin Half Dollar be worth today? We'll delve into recent market trends and auction results to give you an idea of the potential value of this elusive coin. This coin value in marker dollar five four zero 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 zero. Stay tuned as we uncover more hidden treasures in the world of numismatics. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow collectors, and leave a comment about your own coin discoveries. We've got something truly special for you the 1950D Washington Quarter Dollar. Could it be hiding a treasure trove of value? Let's find out. Now, many of you might have come across this coin in your collection, but did you know that it could be worth a lot more than you think? First, 
check for any signs of wear or mint marks. The D mint mark signifies that this coin was minted in Denver, and its scarcity can significantly boost its value. The condition of the coin matters too. A well-preserved 1950 D Washington quarter dollar in mint condition can fetch a premium price. Recent auction results have shown that some of these coins have sold for impressive amounts. It's always a good idea to get your coin appraised by a professional to determine its true value. Now, let's talk about key dates and varieties. Some specific varieties of the 1950 D Washington quarter dollar are rarer than others, making them highly sought after by collectors. Do your research and consult reference materials to identify if your coin falls into one of these unique categories. To get more insights, we're bringing in a coin expert. Can you tell us what collectors are currently looking for in a 1950 D Washington quarter dollar? Certainly. Collectors are particularly interested in coins with full mint luster, sharp details, and minimal wear. Also, any historical significance or unique anomalies can add extra value. This coin value in marker dollar 590000, there you have it, folks. The secrets to unlocking the potential value of your 1950 D Washington quarter dollar. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more hidden treasures, and share your coin stories in the comments below. Until next time, happy collecting! Welcome, coin enthusiasts! Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of numismatics as we uncover the secrets of the 1967 Lincoln Penny. You might be surprised to learn that this seemingly ordinary coin could be hiding a significant value. Stick around as we explore the factors that make the 1967 Lincoln Penny so special. To understand the value of the 1967 Lincoln Penny, let's take a quick trip back in time. The late 1960s were a period of change for U.S. coinage and this particular penny holds a unique place in history. We'll delve into the coin's production background and discuss why it stands out from its counterparts. Not all pennies are created equal, and the 1967 Lincoln penny is no exception. There are variations in the minting process that can significantly impact its value. We'll explore the key factors, such as mint marks and possible errors, that collectors look for to determine the rarity and desirability of these coins. Like any collectible, the condition of the coin plays a crucial role in determining its value. We'll discuss the grading scale used by professionals to evaluate the state of a 1967 Lincoln penny. From uncirculated specimens to those with wear and tear, we'll break down how each level of preservation can affect its market price. Curious to know just how much a 1967 Lincoln penny can fetch at auction? We'll showcase recent sales and highlight some jaw-dropping prices that collectors have been willing to pay for this numismatic gem. You won't believe the figures some of these coins have commanded. As we wrap up our exploration of the 1967 Lincoln penny, it's clear that this unassuming coin has a remarkable story to tell. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just getting started, keep an eye out for this elusive treasure during your next coin hunt. You might just stumble upon a small piece of history worth a lot more than its face value. Finally, this coin's value in market $45,000. If you enjoyed our journey into the world of rare coins, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more fascinating insights into the world of numismatics. We have an exciting topic for you the 1967 Jefferson Nickel, a coin that might just be hiding in your pocket change but could be worth a small fortune. Before we dive into the details, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on valuable coin insights. Now, let's travel back in time to 1967. While most nickels from this year may seem ordinary, there's a rare variant that collectors go wild for. Keep watching to discover why this coin is so special and how it could be hiding in plain sight in your collection. Unlike the regular nickels, the 1967 Jefferson nickel we're talking about has distinctive features. Look for any minting errors, doubled dies, or other anomalies that make it stand out. These imperfections are what can turn a seemingly common coin into a valuable treasure. 
We all know that rarity is a key factor in determining a coin's value. The 1967 Jefferson nickel is no exception. Learn about the mintage figures for that year and how many of these special nickels are believed to exist today. The scarcer, the more valuable. Condition plays a crucial role in the coin collecting world. A well-preserved 1967 Jefferson nickel in mint condition will fetch a higher price than a worn or damaged one. We'll guide you on how to assess the condition of your coin and what to look for. Stay tuned as we explore the current market value of the 1967 Jefferson nickel. We'll also share some recent sales or auction results to give you an idea of what collectors are willing to pay for this sought-after coin. To help you on your quest for hidden treasures, we've gathered expert tips on how to identify the 1967 Jefferson nickel and estimate its value. Watch closely and take notes. You might just stumble upon a valuable coin during your next coin hunt. Finally, this coin's value in market $22,000. And there you have it, folks. The 1967 Jefferson nickel, a seemingly ordinary coin with the potential to be worth a lot of money. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments if you've ever come across one of these rare nickels. We have an exciting episode for you as we delve into the captivating world of coins. In particular, we're going to uncover the hidden potential of the 1967 Washington quarter dollar, a coin that could be worth a lot more than you think. So stay tuned. The 1967 Washington quarter is not just an ordinary coin. It holds a fascinating history and, for some lucky collectors, the potential for a significant financial return. Let's explore why this seemingly common coin might be hiding a treasure trove of value. Firstly, let's travel back to 1967, a year of change and transition. The nation was undergoing a shift in currency, and this affected the production of coins. The 1967 Washington Quarter stands out as a unique piece in this era, with subtle variations that collectors now prize. Understanding the mintage figures is crucial when evaluating a coin's rarity. The 1967 Washington quarter had lower production numbers compared to other years, making it relatively scarce. This scarcity can significantly impact its value in today's collector market. Coin collectors love a good mystery, and the 1967 Washington quarter doesn't disappoint. Keep an eye out for varieties and errors, such as double dies or minting mistakes as these can elevate the coin's worth. We'll explore some specific features to look for during your treasure hunt. Now, let's talk numbers. The market value of the 1967 Washington quarter has been steadily rising, catching the attention of serious collectors and investors alike. We'll discuss recent auction results and showcase some jaw-dropping sales that will leave you eager to check your own coin stash. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting your numismatic journey, we've got some tips for you. From proper storage to authentication, we'll guide you on how to preserve and protect your 1967 Washington quarter to ensure its value remains intact. As we wrap up today's episode, it's clear that the 1967 Washington quarter is more than just a piece of currency. It's a potential treasure waiting to be discovered. Check your coin collections, explore coin shows, and who knows, you might just stumble upon a valuable piece of history. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more coin-related content, and happy hunting, collectors! Finally, this coin's value in market $32,000. Thank you for joining us on this exciting journey into the world of coins. If you have any stories or experiences with the 1967 Washington quarter, Share them in the comments below. We're diving into the fascinating world of numismatics as we explore the potential hidden treasures behind the 1967 dime coin. You might be surprised by the value these small but mighty coins hold. Before we unveil the secrets, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our exciting coin discoveries. Now, let's jump into the intriguing story of the 1967 dime. 
Released during a pivotal time in history, the 1967 Dime is a numismatic gem with a unique story. As we journey back, we'll uncover the historical context that makes these coins even more special. Take a close look at the distinctive features of the 1967 dime. From the iconic design to any potential minting errors, every detail matters in determining its value. Stay tuned as we explore these factors in depth. Scarcity plays a crucial role in determining a coin's worth. Discover just how rare the 1967 dime is today and how it compares to other coins from the same era. You might be holding on to a piece of history worth more than you think. Join us as we analyze current market trends and recent sales of the 1967 dime. The value of these coins can fluctuate and we'll provide you with the latest insights to help you navigate this exciting market. We've got exclusive interviews with numismatic experts who will share their insights into what makes the 1967 dime stand out. Their expertise will guide us in understanding the factors that contribute to the coin's value. Do you have a 1967 dime in your collection? Share your experiences and showcase your coins in the comments below. We love hearing from our community of coin enthusiasts. Before we wrap up, don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video informative. The world of coin collecting is full of surprises, and the 1967 dime is no exception. Finally, this coin's value in market $43,000. Stay tuned for more coin-related content. And remember, the smallest coins can sometimes hold the greatest value. See you in the next video. We're diving into the world of numismatics to uncover the hidden gem the 1967 Australia 5-cent coin. Believe it or not, this small piece of currency might just be worth a lot more than its face value. Let's explore why. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up if you love discovering valuable coins. Now, let's jump into the fascinating history of the 1967 Australia 5-cent coin. Released during the transition from silver to nickel composition, the 1967 five-cent coin stands out due to its unique features. With only a limited mintage of 50 million, its scarcity adds to its allure. The coin has distinctive characteristics, such as the absence of a mint mark and the shape of the queen's portrait. Now, let's talk about the factors that make this coin worth more than you might think. Condition, rarity, and demand play crucial roles in determining its value. A well-preserved coin in mint condition can fetch a higher price, especially if it's part of a low mintage batch. To gain more insight, we reached out to numismatic expert Joni. Joni, the 1967 Australia five cent coin is a hidden treasure for collectors. Its rarity, coupled with the historical context of the mintage transition, makes it highly sought after. Keep an eye out for coins in excellent condition, as they can be a valuable addition to any collection. Wondering how to identify a valuable 1967 five-cent coin? Look for sharp details, minimal wear, and no scratches. Coins with errors or unique features, like a double die strike, can also command higher prices. Now, Let's check out current market prices for the 1967 Australia 5-cent coin. Prices can vary, but some collectors have reported significant returns on their investments. In conclusion, if you have a 1967 Australia 5-cent coin stashed away, it's time to take a closer look. Who knows? You might be holding onto a piece of history worth a small fortune. Finally, this coin's value in market $11,000. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and comment below. We're diving into the fascinating world of numismatics as we explore the surprising value behind the 1967 Australian 10 cent coin. Now, you might be thinking, what's so special about a 10 cent coin from 1967? Well, buckle up, because this unassuming coin holds a secret that could make it worth a lot more than its face value. Let's rewind to 1967 
a pivotal year in Australian coinage. This particular coin is unique because it marks the transition from silver to nickel for the 10 cent denomination. But there's more to the story. In 1967, due to a change in metal composition, a limited number of these coins were minted with a distinct double bar on the reverse side. This anomaly makes them exceptionally rare and highly sought after by collectors. Take a look at the screen. On the left, we have a regular 1967 10 cent coin, and on the right, the rare variety with the double bar. Can you spot the difference? Leave a comment below if you have one of these coins in your collection. We'd love to hear your stories. Now, let's talk numbers. Due to their scarcity, these rare 1967 10 cent coins can fetch a substantial amount in the collector's market. Recent auctions have seen prices soar, and some lucky individuals have stumbled upon a hidden gem in their loose change. It's incredible to see how a small coin can hold such significant value. So, if you have a jar of coins lying around or inherited a collection, make sure to check for this hidden treasure. That wraps up our exploration of the 1967 Australian 10 cent coin. Who would have thought that a seemingly ordinary coin could be a hidden gem worth a lot of money? Finally, this coin's value in market $52,000. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more fascinating insights into the world of numismatics. We're diving into the world of numismatics to explore the fascinating story behind the 1967 Australian 20 cent coin, a hidden gem that could be worth a lot of money. If you're a coin collector or just curious about rare finds, you're in for a treat. Let's get started. In 1967, Australia introduced the 20 cent coin as part of its decimal currency system. Little did many know that some of these coins would become highly sought after by collectors due to a unique and valuable characteristic. The key feature that sets these coins apart is a minting error known as the double bar. Some of the 1967 20 cent coins were struck with an additional bar on the reverse side, near the bottom of the numeral two. This error is quite rare and has caught the attention of collectors worldwide. Now, let's talk about the value. The 1967 Australian 20 cent coin with a double bar error has been known to fetch impressive prices at auctions and in the collector's market. Rarity is a significant factor in determining the value of coins, and this minting error makes these coins exceptionally scarce. If you're wondering how to identify this valuable coin, closely examine the reverse side, focusing on the numeral two. If you spot an additional bar near the bottom, congratulations. You might be holding a coin worth more than its face value. For those interested in collecting or investing in coins, keep an eye out for these 1967 20 cent coins during your coin hunts, estate sales, or auctions. Knowledge about rare minting errors can turn a casual collector into a treasure hunter. There you have it, the story of the 1967 Australian 20 cent coin with a double bar error. Remember, the world of coin collecting is full of surprises and you never know what valuable treasures might be hiding in your pocket change. Finally, this coin's value in market $55,000. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more exciting coin-related content. Happy hunting, and may you uncover some numismatic treasures of your own. We're diving into the fascinating world of numismatics as we explore the hidden value behind the 1967 Australian two-cent coin. Stay tuned to uncover the secrets that could turn your loose change into a valuable treasure. Before we jump into the specifics, let's set the stage. The 1967 two-cent coin holds a special place in Australian coinage history. This copper beauty is not just any coin, it's a numismatic gem that can potentially be worth a lot more than its face value. What sets the 1967 two cent coin apart? Well, besides being the first two cent coin ever minted in Australia, it has some unique features that make it highly sought after by collectors. Keep an eye out for the iconic frilled neck lizard design 
and the distinctive denticles around the edge. Now, let's talk about the factors that contribute to the value of these coins. Mint condition, rarity, and any minting errors can significantly increase their worth. So, that old coin jar might be holding more than you think. To gain more insights, we've consulted with numismatic experts who will share their knowledge on what makes the 1967 two-set coin so special and valuable. Stay tuned for their valuable tips on identifying the key elements that affect its market price. Time to unveil some real treasures. We've managed to get our hands on some high-value 1967 two-cent coins. Get ready to be amazed as we showcase these rare gems and discuss their unique characteristics that make them worth a significant amount of money. For all you aspiring coin collectors out there, we've compiled a list of tips on how to spot valuable 1967 two-cent coins in your collection. From key dates to mint marks, these tips will guide you in identifying the potential hidden treasures. There you have it, folks. The 1967 Australian two-cent coin is not just a piece of loose change. It's a historical artifact that could hold substantial value. So next time you come across one, take a closer look. You might be holding a small fortune in your hands. Finally, this coin's value in market 77,000 dollar. If you enjoyed this exploration into the world of numismatics, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more exciting coin-related content. Welcome back to Old Coins Prices. We're diving into the world of numismatics, and we've got a real gem for you, the 1967 Canada One Cent Coin. Stay tuned, because you might be sitting on a small fortune without even realizing it. Before we jump into the details, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell, so you never miss out on fascinating coin discoveries. Now, let's talk about the 1967 Canada One Cent Coin. The 1967 Canadian penny holds a special place in history, as it was minted to commemorate Canada's centennial year. But what many people don't know is that some of these coins are incredibly rare and valuable. What makes these coins so special? Well, it's all about the 3 over 3 variety. Keep watching, because we're about to reveal just how much these rare 1967 pennies can be worth. Take a close look at your 1967 Canada one cent coin. If you notice a faint three under the primary three in the date, congratulations. You might be holding a coin with a three over three variety, and these are in high demand among collectors. Now let's talk money. The value of these rare 1967 pennies can vary, but some have been known to fetch hundreds or even thousands of dollars in the collector's market. It all depends on factors like condition, rarity, and demand. To shed more light on this, we've brought in numismatic expert name, a seasoned coin expert. Expert name, can you tell our viewers more about what makes the 1967 Canada one set coin so valuable? The three over three variety is a result of a minting error, making these coins quite scarce. Collectors are willing to pay a premium for such anomalies, especially when they're tied to significant historical events like Canada's centennial. There you have it, folks. Before you spend that 1967 penny, check for the 3 over 3 variety. Who knows, you might have a hidden treasure in your pocket. Finally, this coin's value in market $33,000. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your fellow coin enthusiasts, and let us know in the comments if you've ever come across this rare variety. We're diving into the fascinating world of numismatics, exploring the potential hidden value behind the 1967 Canada 5 cent coin. Buckle up as we uncover the secrets that could turn your pocket change into a valuable collector's item. Before we delve into the coin's worth, let's set the stage. The year 1967 holds a special place in Canadian history as the centennial year. The 1967 five cent coin was minted to commemorate this milestone, making it a piece rich in historical significance. Now, let's examine the key features of this coin that contribute to its potential value. 
take note of any variations, mid-marks, or anomalies that distinguish it from the regular coins of that era. These subtle details can significantly impact its rarity and desirability among collectors. Did you know that there are certain variations in the minting process that could make your 1967 five cent coin stand out? Explore the different mint marks and variations in design, as these can elevate the coin's value to heights you might not have imagined. Condition is king in the world of coin collecting. We'll discuss how the rarity of a well-preserved 1967 five cent coin can make it a sought-after gem. Learn to spot signs of wear, discoloration, or any imperfections that might affect its overall value. Stay tuned as we reveal recent auction results and prices fetched by similar coins. Real-life examples can provide insights into the potential market value, helping you gauge the worth of your own 1967 Canada 5-cent coin. Finally, this coin's value in market $34,000. As we wrap up, remember that the world of coin collecting is ever-evolving. The 1967 Canada 5-cent coin may hold surprises for those willing to explore and discover. Check your pockets, scour through your collections, and who knows, you might just be holding a piece of Canadian history worth more than you thought. If you enjoyed today's exploration into the world of numismatics, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more coin-related content. Happy collecting! and may your pockets be filled with hidden treasures. We're diving into the world of numismatics to uncover the hidden potential of a seemingly ordinary coin, the 1967 Canada 10 cent coin. You won't believe the value some of these coins hold today. In 1967, Canada celebrated its centennial with a special 10 cent coin, but little did people know that this coin would become a sought after treasure among collectors. Let's explore what makes this coin unique and valuable. The 1967 Canada 10 cent coin marks a pivotal moment in Canadian history. Released during the centennial celebrations, it showcases a stunning design that reflects the spirit of the nation at that time. Its historical significance adds to its allure for collectors. Not all 1967 10 cent coins are created equal. Some variations, like the large beads and small beads varieties, contribute to the rarity of certain pieces. We'll delve into the specific details that make these coins stand out. Believe it or not, minting errors can turn an ordinary coin into a valuable treasure. We'll explore some of the common minting errors found on the 1967 Canada 10 cent coin and how they can significantly increase its market value. Now, the moment you've been waiting for, Let's talk numbers. The current market value of the 1967 Canada 10 cent coin can be surprising. We'll discuss recent sales and auctions that highlight the potential worth of these coins today. For all you collectors out there, we've got some tips on how to identify valuable specimens, where to look for them, and how to ensure their authenticity. Stay tuned for some expert advice on building a valuable coin collection. Finally, this coin's value in market $73,900. As we wrap up our journey into the world of the 1967 Canada 10 cent coin, remember that hidden treasures can be found in unexpected places. Who knows, you might have a small fortune in your coin collection. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. We have an exciting topic to discuss. The 1967 Canadian 25 cent coin that could be hiding in your pocket change and worth a lot of money. Stick around as we uncover the fascinating details behind this numismatic gem. Let's kick things off by diving into the historical significance of the 1967 Canadian 25 cent coin. It was minted to commemorate Canada's centennial year, making it a unique and sought after piece for collectors. The design captures the spirit of the nation's 100th anniversary with symbols reflecting Canada's rich history and heritage. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Some 1967 25 cent coins have rare varieties and errors that can significantly increase their value. Keep an eye out for doubling, misprints, or other anomalies. 
These imperfections can turn an ordinary coin into a rare find worth a substantial amount. Check for the mint mark on the coin, as this can also impact its value. Coins minted in specific locations might be scarcer than others. Additionally, the condition of the coin plays a crucial role. Well-preserved specimens fetch higher prices among collectors. Let's talk numbers. We'll explore the current market value of the 1967 Canadian 25-cent coin and highlight recent sales that have set new records. You'll be surprised at how much these coins can fetch at auctions or through private sales. For those eager to start their own treasure hunt, we've got you covered. We'll provide tips on where to find these coins, what to look for, and how to authenticate them. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a beginner, these insights will help you navigate the world of numismatics. As we wrap up today's video, remember that hidden treasures can be found in the most unexpected places. The 1967 Canadian 25 cent coin is not just a piece of history, but a potential gold mine for collectors. Finally, this coin's value in market $23,000. If you enjoyed this exploration, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more exciting coin related content. We're diving into the world of numismatics to uncover the hidden potential of a seemingly ordinary coin the 1967 Singapore 10 cent coin. Here it is, the unassuming 10 cent coin from 1967. At first glance, it may not catch your eye, but hold on tight because this little piece of history might just be worth a small fortune. Before we get into the value, let's explore the historical significance of the 1967 Singapore 10 cent coin. This coin was minted during a crucial period in Singapore's history, transitioning from self-governance to independence. It holds a unique place in the hearts of collectors due to its connection with this pivotal era. Now, let's talk about the factors that can significantly impact the value of this coin. Mint condition, rarity, and any historical anomalies can contribute to making this coin highly sought after in the collector's market. To shed more light on this, we have Joni, a renowned numismatist, joining us today. Expert's name. What makes the 1967 Singapore 10 cent coin stand out in the world of coin collecting? Joni, it's a combination of historical significance and rarity. The limited mintage during that particular year, coupled with its connection to Singapore's journey to independence, makes this coin a gem for collectors. Speaking of rarity, are there any specific variants or errors in the 1967 10 cent coin that collectors should keep an eye out for? Absolutely. Look out for any minting errors, variations in design, or even coins with specific markings that set them apart. These nuances can significantly elevate their value. Now, let's address the burning question. How much could one potentially make by owning a valuable 1967 Singapore 10 cent coin? Are there any recent market trends we should be aware of? The value can vary but we've seen instances where well-preserved, rare variants have fetched impressive prices and options. It's always a good idea to stay updated on current market trends. There you have it, folks. The 1967 Singapore 10 cent coin, not just a piece of currency, but a valuable piece of history. Remember, the key is to do your research, connect with fellow collectors, and you might just stumble upon a hidden treasure in your coin collection journey. Until next time, happy collecting. Finally, this coin's value in market $44,000. If you enjoyed this exploration into numismatics, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating coin stories. Thanks for joining us on your channel name, and until next time, keep the coin hunt alive.